Hello and welcome to the Show Lux Show. I'm Georgie Courage Cole and joining me on the sofa today are Laura Black and Lou Huff. Welcome ladies. Today we'll be chatting about our favourite trend for autumn and what we think of tights, in particular logo tights plus electric blankets. Laura, I know you're a big fan. And also how to check your breasts because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Laura and I will also be showing you some of our favourite interiors products on the high street right now. Trainer to the stars, Shane Collins is back with the next in his 10 minute workout series. And also Daisy Buchanan is showing her favourite new reads. It's a busy show. But first, we're talking tights. I think we're all quite opinionated on tights. Lou. I'm going to come to you. Are you into tights? I am into tights if there is a pattern. I um, I used to work with someone. She had a very clear rule that she would never wear tights until post Halloween. So that was like her her her. Um... All right. Well, you're nearly there then. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I love the um, trend of like a polka dot tight. I think is so chic. At the Christmas party last year, I was wearing an all black outfit and then I think a polka dot tight really adds a little bit of something interesting if you're you know I think often this time of year party is quite dark mm -hmm. so I think it can add a bit of something something if you've got a more of a like sort of a monochrome wardrobe. Laura I know we both agree we're also fans of a polka dot tight. Yeah love it love it. it's got to be small for me yes yeah. that's what it's anything oh, yes. that's too big. Not a not a great big velvet dot no, no, no. Tights that yeah. do, do not be um you know misled on that one yeah small is small key. and delicate yeah. How do you feel about the logo tights because you know a year ago we'd have said polka dots only and when you say pattern tights, you really only mean a polka dot. Yeah. We're not talking zigzags. Yeah. No. Anything else. This is strictly polka dots. However, logo tights are now a huge trend. Are you in? Are you out? I think it depends what the logo is. Yeah. So, so there's two we're going to show. Yeah. One is Chanel. There's a picture of Camille Charrier at the Chanel, the Chanel show, show wearing Chanel tights. And then there's the Gucci tights which are also all over Instagram yeah. right now. So I'm more in the Chanel camp yeah. than the Gucci camp. For yeah. me, the Gucci's are a bit big, a bit, yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan. Exactly. Not a fan. Logo. And it's, I think it's a bit too trend. Yeah. It's very like of the moment and I don't think they've got longevity, whereas the Chanel is obviously, it, it's kind of a touch to it. It's little. It's very yeah, little exactly, C's. exactly. They are about 300 pounds. Personally, However much money I had, I know it's all relative. I don't think I could ever spend three hundred pounds on a pair of tights that I'm going to ladder because I will ladder them. No. I could not agree more. Also, I think they're impossible to get a hold of at the moment. Anyway, anyway. She asked me, bit bonkers. Stick to a polka dot, and I and I would say just otherwise, it's trousers to me. I can't do t I can't do tights and I'm with you. and boots. I just, no. There's something about it. I'm really sorry if you're a tights wearer, but <laughs> I am not. Um, we're going to talk about trends for autumn winter. Tights is one of them. Um, but we've also all picked a trend that we're really into this season. And Lou, we're going to start with you. So mine is the split hem trousers. They were around a lot last year and they haven't gone anywhere. I think it kickstarted with the wardrobe NYC collection. Um, we've got an asset coming up of... Um, this look with an oversized blazer and the trousers and it just looks so impossibly cool and chic and relaxed and it's got a bit of a sporty athleisure vibe to it but it still feels polished. Totally, it's and, so much more chic. Yeah. yeah. And for people who don't know Wardrobe NYC, it's a very cool, very expensive brand that started off just releasing sort of bundles of clothes. So you would yeah. buy five things at once. And the idea was it was a sort of capsule edit yeah. that you could mix and match with everything in your wardrobe. So there'd be a blazer, shirt, a pair of these yeah. trousers, et cetera. Yeah, and they've they've since released kind of a few additions. Christine Centenaro is behind it, who is obviously impossibly exactly. stylish. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I love it. And when I was younger, I had a pair of jazz trousers that oh. were, were that didn't have the split, but they had the same, I'm not gonna say the same effect, but it really reminds me of that. Um, and I love that the split creates like a little bit of a flare, but it's not like a big statement flare. It's not like in the 60s. It's just, I think it elongates your legs and it kind of, makes them feel makes it's, them look a lot more flattering it's sexy on the floor yeah. yeah. I think I think I mean you have, to me you have to wear a pointy shoe you have to wear 100%. a stiletto 
But I think it's really sexy just having that bit of fabric like flap open. Yeah, and I think they're really wearable as well. Like I think you can put them on and not feel like you're too overdone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Yeah. and you'll feel really comfy. And you know, you can wear a hoodie and a blazer or you could like really dress it up. Um, And loads of brands have done their version of whether it, you know, depending on your budget and what you want to spend. There's an amazing pair from Tove. Um, which is coming up on the screen, which are called the Knox, which are just stunning. So, yeah. And, and also the Totem. Yes. The Totem ones, ones which are also. sold out now and they're kind of really um, hard to get by. They're much more of a legging. So, I think depending on how, what sort of fabric you want, because some can be almost more of a tailored yeah. pant feel, some of them more of a legging. So, you know, whatever. And half of the sheer lux, half of the sheer lux office, me included, have the Zara ones. Yes. So there are options. Love it. White, long white shirt. Yeah. Those trousers, pointy black stilettos. Yes, I mean, so good. It's a great look, isn't it? Uh, Laura, what is your favourite trend for autumn winter? Mine's not quite a chic, but I'm just quite into the teddy, fleecy, cosy. We're not all. None of us are doing anything that exciting at the moment. I quite like that it's super wearable. Mm. Um, and do you like it in accessories? Because there's lots of teddy mm, yeah. bags and shoes. And, yeah. Or are you just into a jacket? A slipper, maybe for the house, <laughs> not outside the house. Um, no, a jacket, a jacket for me. Yeah, like anyone that's got a little bit of leather on it as well. Yes. Yeah, there's yes. a lot of like leather piping yeah. on details. Mm. Yes, I Anina love the Bain bags. looks amazing. In... Do you? Yeah. Okay. Um, who is it? Is it LM? LM? LMA? Yeah. yeah. Um, Demelier, they have both got amazing styles. And I, lo- I yeah, I just love the idea of like it. A of big, slouchy one. Yeah, or even just the clutch, I think, looks really cool. I agree, but I'd rather put my money into a jacket. Yeah, I don't think I could bring myself to spend mm. a decent amount of I money think it's on, quite a, on, a, on a bag. Yeah. I, I also really don't love a teddy long coat. Yes. yes. But I love the sort of bombery, yeah. bikery styles that are out. Yeah, so nice. I, mean, I think it's a great look. Well, my favourite trend for autumn winter is the faux diamond trend. And I just... Love it. It's kind of, it's, it looks best layered. And I think there's a picture that's going to come up on screen, which is a Dorsey image where she's wearing two together. I mean, as if you're going to have just like three, two or three diamond necklaces, you can just whack them all on at once. But let, you know, say you did. Well, now you can buy fake ones, which is the great thing. But I, who'd have thought that would be a trend? Yeah. Who would have thought that sort of tennis bracelet, tennis necklace would suddenly look really cool? Love it. It's also it. styled in a much more like relaxed tomboy way. So like with the Dorsey images, a lot of them are like with like a rock and roll t-shirt. So it's yeah. quite a rocky look. Yeah, it? and yeah. I love that sort of the difference between those two styles and then how almost like the all, all the pieces that were super, super smart, you know, it seemed like wearing an amazing e- earring yeah. with like a hoodie. Like Yeah, I mean, this is not a LK Bennett dress and no. <laughs> faux diamonds. No, thanks, LK Bennett. This is a like leather jacket. Yeah. yeah. Slub tea or a shirt. Yeah. Um, anyway, there's also a picture of some Dorsey earrings, um, I hope, coming up on screen. They look great. Um, and then another picture of a, of a Dorsey necklace. I think the Dorsey ones are a few hundred, but Kenneth J. Lane, hopefully that's coming up on screen too. Kenneth J. Lane has done one which I think is about 150 pounds yeah. or something. Kenneth J. Lane has awesome faux diamond yeah. jewelry. They've got some great earrings. Fallon as well. That's a really good brand that's on Harvey Nicks. They've got some really good faux stuff. Really good one. And I mean, my absolute favourite, and these are in my shopping basket on Nath Forte at the moment. Um, I was going to, as an early birthday present to myself, uh, is the Isabel Maron, which aren't new this season. They were out last year, but these sort of waterfalls. You've so got to cool. do it. You've got to. They're, They're so, so cool. you. My only one is... is is where they would fall off the ear. I have something similar and they slightly annoy me. So Drop forward. Yeah. I've, I've studied the model carefully. They look quite <laughs> okay. solid. Anyway, I think they're so cool. But again, that is not something you'd be wearing with like any dress. Nothing too twee. No. A uh, rock and roll t-shirt. Yeah. And I need to bring t-shirt and a pair of those. Yeah. I think it would look wicked. Anyway. We're going to move on. We're going to move off fashion. Uh, Laura, I'm coming to you on this one. It's electric blankets. Love it again. Basically. Showing you're so cosy in this episode. My again. <laughs> I'm loving your boots. Can we talk Thanks. about your boots for a second? They're bash. They're awesome. Thank you very much. Then you purchased. No, last year. Can you sit your leg right out so everyone can see them? <laughs> Hopefully they can see them. Um, anyway, 
You look great, but um, you do love an electric, electric blanket. blanket. <laughs> I, I got I got I, a press release which said something staggering, like forty five percent of millennials have a have an electric blanket or something. To me, that sounds like a huge exaggeration. It's very wise, but I do remember being a student and having an electric blanket because my house in Edinburgh was so fucking cold. Um, but I haven't had one since. Oh, you're missing out. Do you have one? Yeah. Do you really? Yes, I do. And what time of the year does it run from? Oh, I'll put, um, uh, that's quite tricky. Maybe, like late August, I think. I'm August? Back on, yeah. Laura. Nothing better. Just pop August. it on about an hour before you get into You're bed. Right, you get mom, into warm sheets. My mum, my mum, I'm not kidding. My mum goes on holiday. She'll go to the med. She takes a hot, hot water bottle. Water. I will be that, that lady. I know I will. And do you turn it off then once you're in? You mm. don't sleep with it on? No. Okay. You can set a timer, but no, I don't want to sleep with it on, but I like to get into a warm bed. Okay. Yeah. Dual controls. Ed's not into it, but I have my side. So, oh. so you have, it's, it's a double size, yeah. and so his is off. Yeah, yeah, he's not into it. But it must sort of seep through, surely. Yeah, yeah. he quite often puts his toes over, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's good. Turn on your own side. <laughs> anyway, you're a fan. Yeah. I mean, we did a little poll around the office. I was like, electric blanket, anyone? And most people were like, I had one at uni. Anyway. Well, I think you're all missing out. You should find it. Dig it out. Do you think? Yeah, My absolutely. granny used to have one when I used to go and say, and I love it, but I forget to turn it off and I wake up in the night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so hot. Absolutely yeah, dying of heat. Anyway, you can buy a dual control electric blanket from Amazon for $93.99. I think that's one for the Christmases. I'm actually quite tempted. I, you will not look back. I promise you. I'm surprised you don't have one. Yeah, me too. Are you? Yeah, too. I imagine that it would be right up your street. I think I, think I could be considered. Uh, yeah, I, when we did your house tour the other day, I, we were having a conversation at home. I'm a bit of a snob about where, whose beds that I would trust to sleep in. And I said I would totally trust your beds. And I'm surprised they don't have an electric blanket on me. Oh, did you say that? Yeah. I'm really thrilled. Yeah, they look I know so how biking. fussy you are. They, oh, I am. They are very cosy. I, I freaking love my bed. <laughs> so comfy. It's got a best mattress topper. I mean, just that is... That the mattress is, topper, that makes a Oh, bed. an electric blanket would complete it. Okay, tip for, tip for mattress toppers, mitre. They supply loads of hotels. You know it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I've got them, yeah. And they're brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Anyway, changed my life. Changed my life. Um, finally, we're going to finish. It's October, just still October. And it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And God, I'm so not as good as I should be. But we all know the impact that coronavirus is having on cancer. You know, treatment, research into cancer... And, and also treatment is, is having a massive impact. Bow Babe, I know, is really flying the flag to encourage people to go and get checked. But it's, it's a real worry, isn't it, mm. how many cancers are going undetected. Um, and anyway, I just hope that today we can remind everybody and encourage them to check their bright wood breasts, their boobs, whatever it is. Do you check every month? I'd not as much. This is a really good reminder. I sort of... I'll forget and then I'll be like, oh, God, I haven't done that for a while and then will. But I think everyone needs to just do it as regularly as mm. you can. And just, Nora. you know, because I think then you see if anything is, doesn't feel quite as yeah. it was. I actually had a bit of a scare at the beginning of lockdown and now I am much better. But I would say that I called the doctor and I, they took me in straight away. Yeah. And so don't call your doctor. Yeah. I don't think it's age and I don't want to upset anyone in the room. But I, there's someone in this office whose friend, who di who di his friend died at 25 from breast cancer. And there's another girl who works for Sherlux who's got a great friend, again, in her 20s, mm. um, going through breast cancer treatment. There's actually you are... an amazing NHS ad at the moment. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like, it's just a this. Oh, no, but it was just a love yeah. here. It was just, it really got me to the core. Yeah. so clever. And I just think if in doubt. Yeah. Just check. Like, don't think, no, no don't think you're too young. You don't no. need to worry yet, mm. and you'll start to check when you're forty or whatever. Like yeah. this, mm. this, this can happen. But also, lumps way early can be cysts, and it, it's yeah. really common yeah. that you can have those too. So just yeah. as you feel a lump, get it checked out. Yeah. But it doesn't instantly mean it's breast cancer. Yeah. yeah, and you know when you catch it early, hundred percent survival rate. Incredible. So, you know, just be on it, be on it. Before we finish, Copperfield, go to their website. There's a there's a tab on there called Remind Me. You go on there, you leave your details, they send you a text every month um, to remind you 
to check your boobs once a month, which I think is brilliant. And there's also another image um, coming up on screen now of some lemons, just to show you what you're looking for. You're looking for changes in your yeah, leaking like nipples, dimpling. Lumps. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, have that in mind and go to Copperfield and sign up for their reminder text. Thank you, ladies. Um, stay tuned. In a moment, Laura and I will be back with some fab pieces from Zara Home. But first, the lovely Daisy Buchanan is here with her roundup of the best new books to read now. Hello, and welcome to the October Sheer Lux Book Club. I'm your host, Daisy Buchanan. I'm also the host of the Your Book Podcast, and an author, my debut novel, Insatiable, is coming in February. So just a little reminder that if you are a Sheer Lux Show viewer, you can order a very special limited signed edition from Waterstones. Famously, it is a spooky month. It's a month for telling ghost stories. And my favourite book this month isn't a ghost story as such, but it is a story called Ghosts. This is Ghost by Dolly Alderton. I've been a huge fan of Dolly's work for such a long time and it blew me away. It's the story of Nina. Nina's, Nina is newly single and she is trying to be the best friend she can be. She's trying to explore the world of dating, but there's other big stuff happening too. It is a really beautiful and profound and moving story about all the different kinds of love. I expected great things and I was a bit nervous that this wouldn't deliver. It has over delivered. Another novel by Dawn French is Because of You, her latest book. I'm a big fan of her novels and I think this might be my favorite. This is the story of Minnie. She's only 17 and she's about to have a baby. But without giving too much away, she's about to find out a lot more about what it means to be a mother and to be a daughter. It's really funny, but really warm. There are lots of people in this book that I think you'll probably recognise from your own life. And it is about love. If you can't be with the people that you love right now, and lots of us are feeling that way, I think this book will make you feel like you're a little closer to them. Now, this book came out a little while ago and I loved it so much. Dear Reader by Kathy Rensenbrink. This is about Kathy's lifelong relationship with books and reading and how books are the things that saved her. Honestly, if you're watching this and you're a book lover, I cannot think of a better book for you to curl up and settle down with. Next, we have a book that I adored and it's just come out in paperback. This is The Girl with the Loud and Voice by Abby Dore. In the best way, this is like nothing else I've ever read before. Virginia is just 14 and she dreams of being a teacher. She's incredibly smart and bright and quick. However, Adini is being married off to support her widowed father and her two brothers. There are bits of this book that are just devastating and heartbreaking and really quite eye-opening about the way that lots of girls and women live still all over the world and what they're facing. Onto a book about learning you can do anything and everything to a book that celebrates doing nothing. This is... Nixon Embracing the Dutch Art of Doing Nothing by Olga Meeking. Olga moved to Holland and she observed quite early on that Dutch people are really, really good at being contemplative and meditative. I'm not just saying this book will change your life dramatically, but I think it will change it a little bit every day and just remind us to take those moments for ourselves whenever we can. This is Girl and the Goddess by the poet Nikita Gill. It is a novel, it's the story of Pero and her journey through life and all the difficulties she encounters, but it is written in the form of a poem, so, or a series of poems rather, so you can dip in and out in a really sort of refreshing way. Nikita uses really universal ideas to explore things that are very contemporary and things that we've always faced. She's not afraid to look into things that are quite dark and complicated and challenging. She talks about sexuality, racism, poverty, violence, war, but does so in the most human and elevated way. And I think it is the perfect gift for anyone who needs a little bit of love right now. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you're all safe and well. As always, I'd love to hear about what you're reading. Um, tweet your looks, let them know. And if you want to chat to me about books on Twitter, I'm at NotRollerGirl. On Instagram, I'm at TheDaisyB, double E. Uh, love to see your shelfies, show me what you're reading, show me what's bringing you lots of joy. And most importantly, tell me what you think of my pick of the books. See you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye. Welcome back. Now, updating your home doesn't have to cost a fortune, as Zara Home frequently proves. We've picked out our favourite new pieces 
Well, you've picked out your favorite new pieces from the brand to show us today. I am loving the look of this. I haven't seen any of it, and that's surprise. Um, I genuinely do love the surprise. So, Laura, gosh, we've got some, well, we've got some amazing looking things. Well, we're going to start off with hand soap. This one, that's not the most exciting to start with, is it? But I think the branding of these is really smart. I don't know if you can see from here, but just if you're into Aesop soaps, I mean, they're quite expensive. They're Oof, yeah. exactly really nice to have by saying everybody needs soap at the moment. And I thought that's such a lovely alternative. Love, I love the um, apothecary style color as well. Yeah. I love an Aesop. I'm a bit of a, oh, this smells good. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Really good. This is the pa Palo Palo Santo. Anyway, I agree. I think those look really stylish. And they, I think they start from about four pounds. So four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. So really nice to have next to your kitchen sink. Nice I think. gift, I think. Yeah, exactly. Have dinner. Love those. Okay, next we've got a striped tablecloth. Here. Yeah. With a lace trim. Exactly. So really neutral, but lovely for a tablescape. I think. Shall I hold it? Yeah, over perhaps. Here? And I don't know if you can see, but it's got a really delicate kind of metallic thread. I, yeah, I wonder if they'll be able to see that on camera. It's got a slight bit of sparkle in it, which makes it a bit less summery, I suppose. Yeah, a bit less summery, but nice for this time of year and going into festive. If you don't like the kind of all out tablescape, I think that's I like a nice knock to it. And I love that they've gone sort of pretty with their homewares. Yeah, haven't they? I know there's quite a lot of like chintzy coming yeah. back, isn't there? Yeah, which there I'm is. Into. That's really nice. Okay, next we've got a rattan headboard. Just right behind you. Oh my <laughs> God, look at that. Isn't oh. that good? Oh, I mean, that's amazing. It's so good, isn't it? It also comes in black with the rattan as well. So what, it's the frame is black? The frame comes in black. Oh. But really timeless, I think. That is stunning, 349 pounds. That it's not is bad, amazing. is it? God, I love that. Love that. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Uh, I hadn't spotted that in the studio. There we go. Um, okay, next we've got a pink resin bathroom set. Oh, bathroom set. Here. Again. Gorgeous. Isn't this so pretty? And I know people kind of want antibacterial at the moment. I thought a nice way to, you could decant your antibacterial soap into that and it just makes it a little bit more smart. Nice. They're so pretty in the um, How much are they? 11.99, well, 12 quid and 20 quid, basically. Really nice. Is again, a really nice gift again, I think. Love that. Mm. Really nice. Very, very pretty. Okay, next we've got a boucle cushion cover. I'm really into this. Kind of goes with that teddy theme jacket. It does. <laughs> But I think those, I just think that looks really expensive. It's they did a gorgeous. chair like this last year with sort of brown, similar wood. But we had it on the show. Exactly, which I fell in love with, didn't buy. And now they've done a cushion, which oh. perhaps is a better option in case it dates. But it also comes in a rectangular shape as well. And I think about 19 or 20. 20, 20 pounds. 20 pounds, yeah. Love it. Absolutely I love that love too. It. And no, it's so nice. It's just textured, isn't textured, it? Textured, yeah. I think it's. I. I think that looks really expensive. I think it would totally lift any sofa. Yeah, great. Okay, um, coral ornament. Oh, coral ornament. Coral ornament. Again, I love a coral ornament. It's not I real know. coral, obviously. You love an ornament. I love an ornament. Again, I think it's. It just looks a lot for the money, and I it's love that it's on the darker base yes. as well. It kind of just grounds it a bit. Yeah. Um, I think like that on a shelf, keep the rest of your shelf really simple yeah. and have that with a couple of books. I have coral in my bathroom. Okay. And I really love it. But mine's a bit whiter than that. I mm. actually love that it's a bit creamy. It looks, yeah. it looks old. Yeah, it's cool. I think it's, I love it. I do too. Great find. Next, we've got some floral napkins. Just really sweet, but embroidered, pretty napkins. Kind of takes me back to my granny's house. But again, I think that's such a lovely gift. A pack of two. Is that what it is? Two, fifteen, yeah, pack ninety-nine. Two. Yeah, exactly. Do you think they're pretty. so pretty? Look at I the think detail. They're so pretty. Yeah, I love those. Love a napkin. Really nice stocking filler for somebody. I think. Oh yeah, I'd happily receive some of those. Very nice. Okay. Um, floral earthenware tableware. Here, so this is. Oh, so is that all a sort of collection exactly. from seven ninety nine? Pretty. So pretty, isn't it? Yeah. 
it's not too much. And I think the fact that the colors are slightly muted just makes it look a bit more expensive and a little less twee. You know, I think if the flowers were too pink, it would look a bit... Gorgeous. I just think it's really pretty. Also, I love... I'm probably doing a walking all the wrong place. I love a platter like that for serving like some canapes. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Or brownies for pudding or like I just think things like that is mm. so useful. You can't have enough things like that. Yeah, think, really nice else. shape. Really love that. That's that's a nice gift, isn't it? Really nice gift. Yeah. What's that like 20 quid? So nice. Okay. Oh my god, I love this so that's much. So pretty. That is 30 quid, glass, I glass mean. bar, dishwasher and microwave as well. Three. You can put them in there. Yeah, exactly. Can I hold it? I need to hold it. I need to hold it and I'm not giving it back because I absolutely <laughs> love that. I'm, I'm going to hold on to that. <laughs> um, that's amazing. It's pretty, isn't it? That is really amazing. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. That's my favourite thing so far, without a doubt. Okay, next we've got a quilted floral Oh, that's a placemat, is placemat. it, that I can spy over there? Yes. It's kind of ticking all the boxes here. You've got like a scalloped edge, the floral pattern. It's slightly quilted. I think really pretty. It is really pretty. I, I, for me, that's a bit... Too, too much? It's a bit too much, yeah. I think keep everything else simple. Mm. I think that's really pretty. It's very French, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I like it, I like it, but I'm not wild on it. Um, okay, next we've got a quilt. Um, this is we're a bit mad about scalloped yeah. bedspreads, aren't we? And this one, you were arming and ahhing about this. I like it. It's quite sheeny, isn't uh, it? For me, it's got a little bit too much for sheen, and I think it's quite a cool white for a bedroom. Mm. It, it's very stark, so I think your bed sheets have got to be almost yeah. brand new. But I, it's I, pretty, and the shape is really lovely. I, I actually do really like that. I've got a scallop bedspread and I'm absolutely in love with it. This is 80 quid. It's yeah. pretty good. It, it, it's great price. But it has got a bit of a sheen. Be warned if you order it. But, ah, I, 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 didn't mind, I didn't mind a bit of a sheen in the bedroom. Okay, next, we've got a bit of homeware here. So we've got three items from their, is that what they call it, their homeware? Yeah, I think just nice to touch on their homeware collection. They just have such beautiful pieces cotton pieces i've got an, one of my favorite cardigans which i don't wear as homeware um it's from zara home it's just a really great price i never look at it it's i i think it, just look because yeah. occasionally you'll find some gems and again at the moment for children as well they have these beautiful white cotton pajamas with the most amazing peter pan collar they're so pretty do they because i went on the other day to try and buy myself my, buy my children some pajamas and couldn't find any so that's uh, where they are yeah exactly that's just a cotton robe. I mean, 40 quid, can't go wrong, I suppose. Um, and then we've got a cotton dressing gown. Oh, uh, that's pretty. Such pretty embroidery. Oh, lovely. It's a nice present, 49.99. Quite summery. Quite summery, but, but if lovely. you don't want something really thick, then I that's think it's lovely. lovely. That's really nice. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure I want one for Christmas. Oh, look. So pretty, but you could almost wear that. On the beach in the summer, I think it's so I mean, pretty. I, I couldn't sleep in something like that. There's a lot of fabric to get <laughs> wrapped around, wrapped your, around legs. your legs. It's lovely, I must say. Pretty. So pretty, isn't it? Yeah. And they, actually, this morning I had a quick look and they've had some, some silks that have just dropped as well. So definitely worth a look. Oh, I mean, what oh, I love, I love, I love. I mean, my favourites have got to be the headboard and that bowl. Yeah, I'd say the bowl and the cushion cover. Gorgeous. Although I do love the coral. I do too. Next today, everyone's favourite trainer, Shane Collins, is here. He really is a brilliant, brilliant trainer. He totally knows what he's doing. And check this out. Today, he's showing us how to do a quick 10-minute arm workout. I'm a bit nervous, but excited. Yeah. Welcome to the Lux Girl Show. I'm Georgina Lennon and I'm joined by Judy Congaruan, Sophie Habu and Georgia May Salama. And today we'll be chatting all things fashion, beauty and food. Just filmed for the first time. Uh, girlies, how are we feeling? Oh, so excited. My jaw is so excited.
Hey guys, I'm Shane and this is Alice and why am I holding two bottles of water? Because today is arm day and Alice has some tiny little weights. If you had weights that were one or two kilograms, that would be great. I'm gonna use these bottles of water if that's all you have at home, that is great. Today is pretty full on. We're doing 45 seconds of each exercise, but here's the kicker, there are no breaks. So when you need a break, you're gonna take it and that's up to you. We're just gonna go straight all the way through. Let's get at it. So your first exercise, I call an X fly. And it looks like this. I'm gonna take my bottles of water, I'm gonna take them to the middle of my chest. And then I'm gonna try and take them as far away from each other, making a big X as possible, and then go the opposite way. So they come to the center every time, and then you're really trying to rip your chest open as far as you can. You ready? You can follow Alice, I'll join in when I can. And the good thing, if you're using bottles of water, is that if they're too heavy, just drink a bit, and they get lighter and lighter and lighter. I win. All right, we're in. X fly, 45 seconds of everything, no breaks. You take breaks when you need them. We're on in three, in two, in one. X flies, Alice, let's go. So you make that big X shape right in the middle. Comes to the middle of your chest, and then as far away as you can get those bottles of water, or those dumbbells, that's where you go. And here's what's gonna to happen today. You're gonna to start this class and after about a minute, you're gonna go, these weights aren't that heavy. And this is kind of easy. And then you're gonna be dying by the end of it because they get real heavy. <laughs> Watch that Alice's face, she's smiling now. She won't be by the end of this class, I promise. 10 seconds left. We're gonna go into a full lateral raise. Stay with it for seven, big X's. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one, follow me, point in at the bottom. Make the biggest circle you can, point in at the top. 45 seconds, let's go Alice. All the way up, making the biggest, like full moon shape that you can. Your palms face in at the bottom. They face in at the top as much as you can, as wide as you can. Nice Alice. And you can speed up a little bit with this. Depends on the size of your weights. If they're a little heavy, you might want to slow it down just a little bit, but if they're light, you can really start to like rep this out. Boom, boom. Second round, we definitely will. We'll get used to it here. Eight seconds, we're going into a shoulder press. Alice knows what a shoulder press is. We're there in three, in two, in one. Elbows come to 90 degrees right there. We press together, back down, press, press, press. Now, if your weights are light, really press these out. Let's go. Get a real pump on, boom. Boom. There's a decent chance I'll spill this water on myself by the end of this class, but no harm. 25 seconds, come to 90 degrees, no further. Yes, Alice, come on. How heavy do they feel right now? Scale of one to 10. Pretty heavy, Pretty heavy. she's like 10. <laughs> Ridiculous, 15 seconds, come on. Should be starting to feel this now. You should be starting to feel this. Last 10, come on, Alice, we have it. Last six, last five. Last four, Alice three, Alice two, Alice one, reverse fly. Bend over just a little bit. They hang by your knees, and then you're trying to take them out as wide as you can, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Let's go. What are you waiting on? <laughs> 25 seconds. Now you'll notice, Alice is bent over, but her back is nice and flat. Her back is nice and flat, her chin stays up, knees stay a little bit bent, and then that enables her to get her hands as wide as possible. Stay with it, stay low on it. Dumbbell should come to about your knees, right about there, you got seven, you got six, stay with it for five, things get serious in four, in three, in two, in one, take those dumbbells right up in front of your face, keep them shoulder width or shoulder height, and then really rip that chest open as far as you can, I'll go sideways so you can see as far back as you can get them, but they have to stay at shoulder height. They have to stay shoulder height. There we go, Alice, perfect. Now really feel like, like Hulk Hogan or like the Incredible Hulk or one of those like you're ripping your chest open as far as you can. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Alice, how dare you stop? There's people watching. You're going to have to stop. It's impossible to do this without stopping. So when you need to, take a little shake out, come back in and go again. Seven seconds, Alice, keep them up. Keep them up, keep them up for five, for four, for three, for two. Things get serious, hold it out wide, hold, hold. And then bend them in so they touch your shoulders. 
and back out, little tricep extensions. Bend and extend and bend and extend. Nice. Burns. You do not need super heavy weights. You don't, you wouldn't be able to do it if you had super heavy weights. Bend and extend. Nice, step back a bit, Alice. There we go. Elbows stay high. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Your last exercise before we start all of this again comes in 10 seconds. Come on, Alice. Mm. Bend, extend, bend and extend. Last five, last four. We're into alternating shoulder presses in three, two, one. Elbows go narrow, one goes up, one goes down, one goes up, one goes down. I've never hated water so much in my life. Up, down, up, down, up, down. This is like a little finisher. So I really want you to like get some speed on this. Knees stay a little bit bent. Oh my God, she's gonna like take flight in a minute. Nice, 25 seconds. And then after this, that's halfway, we're gonna go right back to the start and do all of this again. Little burnout, Alice, for 15 seconds, I'll join you. Let's go, pump, pump, knees stay bent. Eyes stay to the sky, 10 seconds, come on. It all slows down again in seven, in six, in five, in four, in three, in two, in one, right in the middle, Alice. Come on, come on, come on, we have it. We're halfway through, big X, back to center. Big X, back to center. Turn a little more sideways so you can see. Big X, back to center, slow it down. Take your time, make the biggest X shape that you can. The biggest X shape that you can. 25 seconds, come on, nice. Mm. Make any noises, any sound effects you wish that gets you through it. Just keep them going as wide as you can. 15 seconds, come on, Alice. Now, you may be starting to feel it. It may get to a stage where you have to stop. If you haven't already, do it. Come back in and go again. We're going for that big lateral raise in three, in two, in one. That big, full, long raise. Come on. Make the biggest shape, like if it was a Jaffa cake, it would definitely be like the full moon Jaffa cake. The biggest one that you can do. 30 seconds, come on. 30 seconds. Palms face in at the top, palms face in at the bottom. And a speed up a bit. There we go. Get a bit of momentum in it. Keep your knees a little bit bent. There she goes, big, big. It's perfect, it's good. What are we in? Six and a half minutes. No time left, Alice. This is the finish line, come on. Got eight, got seven. We're gonna go into shoulder presses in five, in four, in three, two, one. Shoulder presses, let's go. Alice is looking going, why is there no breaks? Why did you not put breaks in today? I'm dying, 40 seconds left. Nice. Elbows come to 90, don't let them come any lower. Do not let them come any lower. We're staying right there, we press, we come back down. We press, we come back down, 25 seconds. Alice, speed up. Alice, speed up. I, I mean, they can see whether you're speeding up or not. Come on, Alice, speed up. 15 seconds, team, we got it. If you can burn this out, now is the time. We slow it back down again in 10. Come on, Alice. Last seven, last six, last five, last four, last three, two, one. Shake it out, bend over, bum sticks out. Dumbbells come down towards your knees. Go as wide as you can into that little reverse fly. The speed comes down, your arms get wide. Step back into me a little, Alice. Nice, there we go. Right down by your knees, and then as wide as you can, stay lean forward. So when you get tired, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna wanna stand up. Don't do that, keep that chest pressed forward. There we go, wide, wide. Slow it down, take your time. Slow it down, take your time. Nice, 10 seconds left, Alice. 10 seconds, then we're into that little finisher. We're eight minutes in, where's the time gone? Where is the time gone? Got three, got two, got one. Stand up tall, take them right in the middle of your chest and then rip it open as far as you can. In, rip it open. It stays at shoulder height all the way through. We're there. How did these weights get so heavy? They were so light at the start. 25 seconds team, come on. Two exercises left after this, Alice. Two, that's it. Then we're free to do whatever we want to do with the day. Last 15 seconds is in. I'm going to speed this up a bit. Alice, come on, join me. Speed it. Alice, 
She's going to take flight, I promise. By the end of this class, Alice is just going to like, like, shum, out of the screen, up, out, gone out of here. We got five, got four, we slow it down in three, two, one, hold them in white, Alice! Hold! Bend them, extend them, bend them, extend them. Last 90 seconds, we're done. Come on. Last 90 seconds, we're done. Elbows stay high. They bend, they extend, they bend, they extend. We're almost there. We're almost there. And I'm not gonna, I almost got knocked out there. I'm not gonna ask you to speed up on this exercise, but when we get to this last 45 seconds, Alice has dealed in on this. It's the fastest shoulder presses you can give me. We're 15 seconds away. Come on, Alice, control it. 45 seconds of fire. You ready? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. You're not gonna stop? Three, two, one. Grab them, last 45 seconds. One up, one down, one up, one down. Knees stay bent, Alice, knees stay bent. Athletic stance, drive, 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 drive. 30 seconds, Alice, come on. This is it. Arm day is finished in 25 seconds, come on. Stay on it. I know the little voice in your head is saying stop, slow down, I'm on YouTube, no one's watching. But you'll know, you'll know that you were that person that stopped with 15 seconds left. Come on, Alice, come on. Like me who stopped about 10 seconds ago. Last seven, last six, last five, four, three, two, one. Rest, back into the Sherlock's sure canteen for the water bottles, goodbye. <laughs> Guys, well done. You smashed arm day, it's like big. Mm, mm. Well done today, we're back again. See you soon. Thank you, Shane, I hope you all enjoyed that. Can you say enjoyed it? Anyway, do it, do his glutes workout and his ab workout, they fly by, you feel it the next day, um, which is always a good sign. I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend them. Thank you to Laura, thank you to Lou. On our next show, Charlotte will be here with High Street Tops. Plus we have a beauty treat in the form of makeup artist Zoe Taylor, who worked under Charlotte Tilbury for years. And trust me when I say she is not someone to miss. In the meantime, do please leave us a comment, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and come back soon. Thanks very much, bye-bye.